Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me at Spanish for Kiddos today. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cutie catcher out of paper and I'll go step by step and then later uh, I will show you how you can use this for learning Spanish verbs. So let's begin. So you can begin with a square piece of paper and I'm using construction paper here. You're going to start with folding along the diagonal of the paper and then you're going to repeat it again for the other side. You're going to open up the paper and then you're going to begin to fold those corners of that paper in like this. Okay. Once you have that, you're going to flip that over and then you're going to have a smaller square. Then you're going to begin to fold those corners in and notice how now you have a small little section here. Okay. And so once you have that in, you're going to fold. Make sure you have a nice crease because that's going to help you open up the cutie catcher in the following way. Okay. Like this. So one more time from this part, and you can stop this video at any moment to see the step by step. But once you have it at this part of the step, you're going to fold in and then you're going to fold again. Then once you open, you're going to open along this side and form the cutie catcher. Now once you have that, let me show you the next step that you can do with in learning Spanish verbs. So in this case, you can start by using all the different forms of the Spanish pronouns like shown here. Yo, tú, él, ella, ellos, ellas, nosotros, nosotras, vosotros, vosotras. Ustedes y usted. Now you can have all these, of course, or you can have a combination of these. And then inside of the flaps, if you will, you have the different types of ending verbs. Okay? And then you can use these for any regular, I recommend for regular stem verbs in Spanish, that could be easier. And students can have fun in the classroom, or if you have this at home, you can also practice. Uh, with your child or children at home school or at any moment you like to practice Spanish verbs. You can make it a game however you like it to display. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we can give you more tips and resources in learning Spanish for kids. Thank you so much. Have a great day.